And it's been three days since we picked up five, six inches of snow in Greenville. And if you can believe it, there's still some on the ground out there. It's barely holding on though. The vast majority of that snow has evaporated away. This is that live look from our Woodruff Road sky cam and we made it up to 56 degrees today in Greenville, well above the freezing point. So it's really just places that are in the shade or places that are on the rooftops that are still holding on to a little bit of snow and ice out there. And even some 60s showing up this afternoon towards Hartwell and Elberton 62 right now. Now in Elberton, 60 in Hartwell, 50s pretty much everywhere else, 56 in Pickens. We've got even some low 50s up towards the mountains, 51 in Cullowee and 50 in Asheville. So we are tracking that chance for more wintry weather on Friday. As of right now, we don't have any active winter weather alerts for our viewing area. However, further southeast towards uh, the Columbia Market, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, they're under a winter storm watch because they have that better chance of seeing sleet and freezing rain with this next round that's coming in on Friday. Friday. And then further up to the northwest into Kentucky, West Virginia, you got a winter weather advisory where they'll pick up some snow as well. We're already tracking that chance for more rain to move in starting tonight up in the mountains and then after midnight for much of the upstate and northeast Georgia. Much of the day tomorrow is just going to be a cold rain. It'll be a while before that cold air on the back side of this makes it into our area. But that being said, uh, already a lot of active weather further to the west with the severe thunderstorm watch for parts of north Louisiana and west Mississippi. So let's time out the next 60 hours because that's within the window that we're looking at for potential snow overnight tonight. Not going to notice much of any changes before midnight. Just going to be partly cloudy and still on the colder side. That light rain starts to come in three, four o'clock in the morning. Early when you head out tomorrow, we'll likely see just a light to moderate rain at times, and that will continue through late morning. Uh, potentially, maybe some light sleet tomorrow in the mountains, but just not really expecting anything impactful for tomorrow. The weather stays pretty cooperative, we'll call it, for much of the day tomorrow. Cold rain continues into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, and then when the cold air really starts to come in Thursday night into Friday morning, some of that starts to change over into some light flurries, maybe some light sleet when you wake up early Friday, because those temperatures will definitely be definitely be cold enough to uh, support that. The big question mark is how dry is the air that the snow and sleet is falling through? That'll determine how heavy it gets, but as of right now, our best chance of seeing more maybe a little bit heavier snow will be Friday afternoon and Friday evening. At least our forecast model pans that out pretty well with good coverage of uh, light to moderate snowfall. I'll preface this by saying again, this is still not going to be nearly as much as we picked up on Sunday. Now here's the updated manual forecast for today. This is what I've created for this afternoon. Looks like a dusting to an inch still for much of Anderson, Greenwood and Lawrence counties with up to a quarter of an inch of ice possible. The further north you go, it looks more like one to three inches. So Again, you know, not as high as Sunday, but still a little bit of potential there for possibly some slick roads to develop Friday evening and into Saturday morning. The big difference from yesterday is the mountain snow totals have really backed off. Still not expecting any ice, but at most now expecting dusting to an inch near places like Bun uh, Asheville and Buncombe County, Marion and Morganton, places like that. And those places south of 85 that do see any impacts, just going to be a medium, not a high impact event like we saw Sunday with up to a quarter of an inch of ice possible. That means some slick roads, some isolated power issues. That should be about it. Be on the lookout for more icy spots Saturday morning as the cold air sticks around for the next four days. It stays pretty dry Saturday, Sunday, just definitely cold over the weekend. We're watching for another chance of uh, wet weather on the way next week, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, just overcast and light rain for tomorrow in the mountains, followed by fl some flurries possible Friday. And again, maybe some icy spots Saturday morning. Be on the lookout for that.